Australian Street representative right now outside Cycle Remedy with my main man, his name is Strictly Rick, local MC from Brisbane. What's happening? Not a lot, man, not a lot. Chilling tonight. Yeah, Telling me, I see how it is. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Now, uh, first and foremost, what is it that you do and how long have you been doing it? Six years ongoing, seven almost. Uh, writing, recording, performing in several different groups. Look me up on Facebook, Strictly Rick. Manny Pacquiao represent, Filipino, <laughs> half New Zealand, here we go. Very nice, very nice. Now, um, first and foremost, how did you get into oh, MC? I think you should give him like My cousin in, in Sydney. Shout out to Bishop from Vanguard. I seen him perform one time when I was about 10. I was like, damn, this is something I want to do. Yeah, so since then I was writing, trying to perfect my craft. Very nice. And um, influences? <laughs> Mainly, the main thing that influences my songs would have to be live. Uh, I try not to write all that. Can I swear? No. Uh, really? We can bleep you out. Okay, I try not to write that bull-ish. But, um, yeah. <laughs> try not to write that stuff like, I don't have a big car, I still live at home with mom. You know, we're struggling here in Brisbane. Very nice. Now, uh, listen, it comes down every rapper, I'm going to ask every rapper this. Yeah. Top 5 dead or alive? Dylan, 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 because they spit hot fire. <laughs> the man, I like he's avoided that question very well. That's, that's <laughs> um, right now in the game, who is your most favorite rapper in life? Oh. Right now, as it is, as it stands. Oh, damn. Killing me. I'm not actually listening to rap at the moment though. <laughs> okay, favorite at the moment. I am going to have to say I'm really digging this one song. It's an old one, it's the most deaf one. Um, Miss Fat Booty. Yeah, anything with most deaf's crazy. Yeah. Thieves in the night. Everyone looked it up. Black stuff, Thieves in the Night. Alright, um, in regards to the scene happening in Brisbane at the moment, yes, yes. Uh, how do you think that it's progressing in regards to a stature between, say, Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, and Perth? That's actually coming up with a lot of MCs over like those ways. How do you think the urban scene is progressing in Brisbane nationally? Brisbane's growing, like, real well. From what I've seen, six years I've been trying to keep in touch with everything, but uh, as, as I've seen, there's a lot of people popping up, a lot of new producers popping up, everybody's got good stuff coming out. That, that show at the zoo, there's a lot of good performances. The show? Um, yeah. So yeah, nice. Uh, where can we find you? MySpace, Facebook, Lava Life, I don't know, whatever we're yeah. You can find me on the Facebook at the moment. MySpace will be coming up later on. Um, it's up, but I'm going to take it down. It needs some reconstruction. So Facebook, Strictly Rick, that's R-I-K, drop the C. And, uh, yeah. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Strictly Rick, one of the upcoming MCs from Brisbane. We are Psycho Remedy. It's a beautiful night. I am Nando Freddy. The Jerry Tree, Valley Fiesta. <laughs> I like girls, 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 girls. Well, that's your boy, Neville Capote, Jerry Tree representative. Right now, we are Psycho Remedy. We got beat maker number two. He goes by the name of Horace. Horace, what's that? You have to speak up. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm good. Just enjoying myself in Psycho Remedy. Nice. Um, now, Horace is another local beat maker, producer. Tell us, uh, how did you start into producing? Um, I started in high school by beatboxing and tapping tables, then uh, just playing on keyboards when uh, you can uh, record stuff. And uh, yeah, then just meet dudes that actually know that there is a position where you can make beats on computers and stuff like that. And then yeah, kick it off and start making beats with it. Very nice. Now, um, how long have you been doing it? And the third question I'm going to ask you is who is your influence um, in beat making? Um, what was the first question? How long have you been doing? How long have you been doing? Oh man, since I was in grade night, I, uh, like, like, you know, I just started um, buying things that are uh, just like second-hand things. Just start from the bottom and just start you know, rhyming guttering types of things, you know, using second-hand things. And, yeah, very nice. And then you end up getting stuff like from there to now. And then, yeah, it's just been a long time, probably eight, nine, ten years, even more. Um, and my inspiration, well, I, I, I make beats that's different from what I make. I, I listen to stuff that, that I make is different. Like, I listen to jazz, blues, and like, uh, classical music, but I make uh, hip hop, new world stuff. Like, it sounds like Timberland, but I'm a mix. My main moves are Bloody Guy, Timberland, Pharrell, 
Josh Benson, the GV. Now, uh, in just the uh, scene in Brisbane, uh, the urban scene in Brisbane, how do you think that that's uh, coming up right now? And uh, how do you think the rest of the future is going to be? The urban scene in Brisbane is it, 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 good because everyone's starting out to like, work together instead of working against each other. Where can you catch my stuff? You can catch my beats on Global Cool. And these people are talking about us. Global Cool. See, see, Global Cool, everybody wants to be on TV. <laughs> <laughs>